What's up, bro? Nothing bad. Everything all right, bro? Nah. <laughs> Bia, what's the matter, man? Huh? Sean, did you piss Bia as usual? I don't know what the hell's the matter with him, Bia. He doesn't seem too sociable today. Are you sociable today, Beetle? What's that? How come? What are you mad at? You going right here, B. <laughs> Sean, what's the matter with B today? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know why he's upset. He's he's not upset. He's just a little a little angry. A little angry? <laughs> Because him and his wife had a separation. Uh, he got a divorce. Yeah, divorced? So many people are coming into co-host this week uh, to sit in and try and get Jackie's job. Uh, Beetlejuice is here next. I feel like it's the Mike Douglas show with yeah. all the new co-hosts. Well, here's Beetlejuice, ladies and gentlemen, who will be uh, sitting in for a segment or two. A lot of people uh, already give Beetlejuice the vote. Yeah, they he's want great. him to replace Jackie. And Beetlejuice looks great today. He's dressed in all green for St. Patrick's Day. Oh my God. He's, he's not got, dressed at all. He's got a shamrock over his wiener. <laughs> and green paint over his body. Yeah. It's great to see you. It's great to have Beetlejuice here. Who, he, In fact, Beetlejuice called me. He's been calling you for, for days. Right? Yeah, he's been calling me for days. He says, hey, give me the job. I'll take over for Jackie. I'll help anybody out. You don't even care about the money, do you? Nah. Jackie was so into the money. Every minute with the money, the money, the money. Why are you not money hungry? Oh, I'm always money hungry. You are? Yeah, but you're not but like... But you see a good opportunity here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for you. What do you want to do? You want to write or you just want to uh, talk? No, I'll write. You'll write? You'll do whatever you have to do? Yeah. Yeah. You know some jokes? Oh, a couple of them. Yeah. Can you, you just tell us one? <laughs> Not right now, probably. What's, what's oh. the main thing is an asshole? What? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Peter? Just I'm sorry. What's the name was an asshole? Janet what? or Dave? Janet or Dave? Yeah. Janet. No, that was Boo Boo. Oh. Johnny Boo Boo. Johnny Boo Boo. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, this guy, he's there all right. He's all right. <laughs> he knows what he's got to do. Now, who painted you green? Your whole body is painted in green. Well, Man. Sean did this. Sean did it? Yeah. yeah did. Now, did that take a long time? or? No, it takes, a l it takes, it takes like a few days to do it. A few really? days, yeah. He's painted in all green with glitter all over him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, is he filling that jock strap? <laughs> yeah, you, you got a pretty good size uh, package, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know how to take care of the ladies. Yeah, I work out, bro. Yeah. yeah, work right. Talk right in that microphone. Nobody wants to miss a Beetlejuice yeah, word. Yeah, I still work out. You do? Yeah. You go to the gym? Yeah. Where do you work out? Well, I work out at the gym with my brother-in-law. You do? Yeah. And you lift weights? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you bench press? What do you press? lift? <laughs> huh? What do you bench press? 125. 125. Not bad for a guy your size, because you're not a real tall guy, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, Beetlejuice, uh, it's an honor to have you here today. I know a lot of people want to uh, get involved with the show now that Jackie's gone, now that a void has been created, and perhaps maybe we can do something together. What is Beetlejuice yeah. drinking? He has a cup with him. What do you got there, Beetlejuice? Well, this is this is iced tea. Oh. Does it have alcohol in it? Yeah, it got alcohol in it. It does, oh. sure, of course. <laughs> Isn't it a little sure early? Sure, it does. <laughs> sure, it does. Isn't I drink it a little early. Yeah. Isn't it a little early for you, though, to be drinking? Me? <laughs> it don't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference, no. Yeah, what time is it anyway? A lot of the people who apply for Jackie's job think they have to drink like Jackie. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, they're, they're, you could do your own thing, Beetlejuice. You don't have to do it like Jackie did it. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, I'll drink this all day. You will. Yes. Hey, Howard, I just heard some disturbing news. What is it? Uh, Beetlejuice is the divorce in Katie Juice, I heard. No. Are you getting a divorce? Oh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Every marriage is falling apart. I, I thought you and Katie oh. Juice were going to last forever. Well, I don't know, but... Would you tell me the truth? You were never really married, were you? Me? Nah. No, I you lied. See, you lied. Oh, yeah. so it's not a real it's marriage. It's not a real... I couldn't nah. imagine that you, a guy like you, because I've seen a you... A swinging single like yourself. Yeah, I've seen you at bachelor parties and stuff. You were not faithful to any woman. I mean, you... you me? Yeah, you get laid a lot. Well, I get laid because I'm like that. Yeah. You got it like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you... 
You could never be married to just one woman, could you? Me? Nah. No. Nah. I mean, even if it was Pamela Anderson, who's your favorite woman of all time? Well, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson, yeah. Pamela yeah. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, aside from her, I mean, who are you most attracted to? Are you attracted to black women or white women? Oh, I'm talking to all black women. You do? Black women, yeah. white women, you don't care? White women, Spanish women, Puerto Rican women. What's the difference? Hey, I don't like the difference. It's all good. They all got vaginas. But who's your yeah. favorite right. movie star, let's say? Who? Which one? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Who's the your dream girl? Uh, I don't know. You don't even have one favorite? Nah. You, you haven't met anyone that is a favorite? Nah. Have you ever gone out with a girl for over a couple of period of years? Oh, my, a couple of times. Yeah. Just a couple of times, right. not years. So what are you saying? Are you saying that you could never be faithful to one woman? You always have to be with different girls? Something like that. Yeah. Let me ask a question. Does Beetlejuice pleasure himself? Yeah, you must You must pleasure him. <laughs> <laughs> I always pleasure myself all the time. Yeah. I'm and who guy. does he think about? <laughs> I'm a good guy. You're a good guy. Why shouldn't you please yourself? <laughs> who do you think of? When you're fantasizing, you know how sometimes when you're alone and you can't find a woman, I mean, you're a star and everything, and you're in movies and everything else, and you can get women. But when you can't get a woman for some reason, and you have to, you know, take things into your own hand, yeah. Yeah. I who do you that. who do you think about? Do you think about the girls? Yeah. Yeah. And what girls do you think about? All of them. No particular girl in mind. No. Ever fantasize? Like Ever think about Robin? Robin. Oh, I enjoyed it like a couple of days. A couple of times you like did. Like a couple of times I did. Yeah. <laughs> Katie Juice was on the phone. Ah. Your wife. Yes, Katie Juice. She does not want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not talking to Katie Juice? Wow. I'm just here, then, then she just his lawyer. <laughs> you talk to me. You talk to me right now. Katie Juice, you want Beetlejuice back? I love him. You love Beetlejuice. Me? Yeah. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> she loves you, Beetle. How could you leave her? How could you abandon her? I don't know. You don't know. I just have to do what I have to do. All right. All right, Casey. I guess he's done. He's done with it. Yeah. Well, what is it, Casey? Uh, also, also, uh, he knows he's now a member of the uh, the Screen Actors Guild. Is that right? You had to join. Now, you did a film, right, out in California? Yeah. Yeah. When can we expect to see that film? Oh, it's coming out in the movies. Yeah. Okay. When? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And what is the name of it again? <laughs> uh... I don't know. It's the same like it's California or something. Yeah. Bubble Boy or Bubble something? Boy. Bubble Boy and the other kid, too. All right. So the name of the movie is Bubble Boy, I think. Right. Right. You're right, Robin. It's Bubble Boy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. And you have a major part in that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so you had to join a union? You had to join the Screen Actors Guild? Yeah. Yeah. And Will so you go on strike when they walk out? No, we don't even walk out. We, you, we, we just stand there. We just do our job. Just like that. Right. <laughs> and, um... And uh, on the phone now is your cousin, Pineapple Juice. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Pineapple Juice. Do you have a cousin, Pineapple Juice? Yeah, I have a cousin like that. You do? It's a friend. What is it? Yeah. What's up, bro? What's going on? You could come away today. All right. Beetlejuice, also, you want to say that now that you're in the Screen Actors Guild, you would like to work with Sean and Marlon Wayans on Scary Movie 2. Yeah. Right. Is that his new premise? He wants to be in that? Yeah, movie? that's what I'm doing right now. That's right. why I'm trying to get in touch with him. Oh, right. Okay. And uh, the only way you're going to do that is if, uh, what, if, you, if they hear this on the radio and perhaps they'll put you in the movie. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. Uh, Beetlejuice would love to work on Scary Movie 2. And I think you're perfect for it. I do. I'm perfect. I think you'd be great in the opening scene. Hmm. Wow. So anyway, um, Vinny came by today. Vinny, who works for CBS, he's a vice. Vinny, what is your t what is your title? Vice President Late Night Programs East Coast. Vice President Late Night East Coast. Right. And Vinny gets research because he's a, an executive. Yeah, they send him all this stuff. Right. And in his research, I said to him, "What is my Q rating?" So I always you wondered about that. Yeah, I always read about Q rating, and, and, and Vinny, again, explain what a Q rating is. It's, it's Basically, you know, as opposed to a rating for a show, which has a lot of different elements, you know, right. this is a rating for you personally. It's going up to X amount of people. But it's not how many people know you. Well, yeah, well, it starts off with, do you know Howard Stern? Right. So you get a familiarity score. And is this across the country or just New York? It's across the country. Okay. Yeah, so obviously you're going to be, in, in certain areas, you'll, you should be a little less. Right. Um, and then, then they say, okay, you know this person. Uh, if you know him, do you like him? Uh oh. <laughs> and, and Why do they have to ask that? Yeah, right. Well, first of all, I want to say something in my own defense before we hear my Q rating. 
A lot of people who don't get the show don't like me because they hear weird stuff That's about right. me. That's right. You're written about in a very bad way, and yeah. they don't have anything to judge except what they read. So it's based on two factors of Q rating. One, how many people know you. Exactly. And if they know you, if they like you. And what, and what degrees? There's like, he's my favorite, he's very good, he's good, and he's poor. Right, yeah, give me like it's poor. called likability, not just, not um, just well, give me Well, give me a, an example of somebody who has a really high Q okay. rating. Okay, first of all, your category is a little complicated. There's some really good names in it, but it's, it's pretty long. Most of them are like actor, actress. Yours is hosts, moderators, announcers, radio commentators, radio disc jockeys, and video jockeys. Like Letterman must have a high Q rating. We, yeah, it's... it's uh, uh, hold on, I'll get to his. Yeah, what is Letterman? Okay, here's the highest in your category. All right. Okay, uh, Bill Cosby. Come he's in my he's category. He's in your category? Well, he's in a couple of different ones because he kind of, cro I guess he He crosses lines. But how is he in the well, announcer category? Kids host the darndest things. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, so Bill Cosby, I guess, you know, you want to be this is like 46%. Right. That's, that's a good one. That's high. Right. So so basically, if you're an advertiser or, you know, someone who's programming a station and you're looking to see should we hire Howard or Bill Cosby for a commercial or whatever. Bill Cosby's is 46%. Exactly. You want to know the lowest? In what does 46% mean? Like, in other words, 46% of the people they surveyed know Bill Cosby and like no, him. No, no, and, and like him, not just know him. They, yeah, they, they like they him. They like him. Okay, go ahead. They like him a Who's lot. Who's the lowest? The lowest, I don't know if I know this person, a Bobby Batista. Do Bobby we, Batista. Do you know who that is? Hey, oh, I CNN. think she's on CNN, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah I know that. She's the funny eye. She's the anchor right. woman with a funny eye. Right. She came in at four. A four? Right. Beetlejuice, uh, you know who Bobby Batista is, the CNN reporter? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I would imagine she Did you ever have sex with her? A couple of times. A couple of times, there you go. <laughs> in his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you never had Bobby Batista. That's a tough one to get, as famous as you she's are. She's not even here, Beetlejuice. She's right. in Atlanta. She's yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah, that's where she's at. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, okay, Bobby Batista's a four. Bill Cosby's a 46. See, I thought people get, like, 98s or something if they're, like, no, Bill Cosby. No, no, no. 46 is, like, a, a, a high, high score. That's, that's a high, high score. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me t these are people, surprisingly, okay, your familiarity. You uh, More people know you than some of these people are about to read, which okay. was kind of surprising. In some cases, it wasn't. Like, Bill Maher. More people know you than Bill Maher. Okay. No, I me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not yeah. a big story. I was surprised that more people know you than Mary Hart, given that she's been on for, like, 20 years. Right. More people. So, so my Q rating, my number is high. Right. On familiarity. The, known, right. the number of people who know you. All right. Your number is like 77 in this wow. category. You on a scale of 1 to 100. I'm well known 77. 77% uh, of the people that they went up to, random people, when they were asked, do you know Howard Stern? They said, absolutely, know Howard Stern. See, I would stop right there. That's cool. Don't need to well, know well, well, anymore. I never need to know anymore. It doesn't get any better after Whether that. they like me or not, I could care less. <laughs> you don't need to know anymore. Who cares if they like me? You want to be known. I just want to be known. <laughs> I just want to be known. <laughs> I don't what I was saying is you gotta a, be known. You gotta be known, man. Who cares if they like you or hate you, right? That's right. That's right. I kick like their that? ass. I kick uh, their ass. You got it. That's you the way you gotta ass? be, bro. What about you? Could you kick some ass? Oh, pretty much. Yeah. Who, whose ass could you kick? Nobody's. Oh, well, there you well, go. Well, that's the truth. Well, there you go. I've seen Juice <laughs> <you> naked. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen Beetle Juice naked, yeah. so have I. At Doug's okay. bachelor party. Yeah, okay. I tell you, God blessed him with a nice oh, package. That's incredible, really? actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, 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 he has an incredible package. He's, really got a, uh, he's got a wiener. He overcompensates. Oh, wow. oh yeah, right? you got the tools that's to please a woman. I know oh, yeah. God has a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> His Q rating is pretty I wish God had given me what Beetle Juice has. He wouldn't do that. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He gave it to Beetle Juice. That wasn't that funny. Do oh. you have a real name, Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice is your stage name, right? Right. Do you have a name like Bob or something like How that? How do you sign your checks? <laughs> yeah. I, I sign my check. Yeah. I, I speak Polish, that's why. Uh. No, really, what's your real name? <laughs> my real name? Yeah. Be Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? You don't go by the name? You don't have a name like Bob? What does your mom call Ronald you? Ronald or something? My mom? Yeah. Oh, at least oh. my last name was Lester Jr. Lester. Oh, Lester. That's your name, Lester? Lester. Your last name or first name? What? Lester Jr. Yeah, I Lester. got four names, man. Okay, so lay it on us. What are they? Where are they? Lester Jr.? Okay. That's two. That's <laughs> three. That's, that's one three. <laughs> that's two <laughs> names. That's one. Lester Jr. That's Lester Jr. That's four, that's that's four. That's that's four. Lester that's four. That's syllables. I got a friend of mine named Lester Jr. All right, wait. Well, you're Lester Jr. And Lester Sr. is your father, I would take it. Right. What's right. your last name? My last name, Junior. Lester Junior. Jr. Lester Junior. That's it. <laughs> well, See, no, he's not a junior. His last name is Junior. Lester, Lester Junior. 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 <laughs> like Uncle Junior on uh, on The <laughs> Sopranos. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Why not? There's nothing wrong with that. What's uh, the other names? 
All the names, you don't want to hear that. Right. I don't know. But uh, Beetlejuice, the Juice, you're more comfortable. At, at what age did you decide to drop Lester Jr. and become Beetlejuice? Well, I would come to something else like I did before, so. Right. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. So at some point you made the decision, I don't want to be Lester anymore, I want to be Beetlejuice. Didn't That's you give right. him that name, Howard? No. No, I did not. Who gave you that name, Beetlejuice? Who's gave me that name? Yeah. Somebody I know. Do you know what it means? Yeah. What? I can't tell you about that. Is it a good thing or a bad thing that they call you? It's not a bad thing. It's not? It's a good no. thing. Is, is it, it named after good someone thing, famous? <laughs> is it named after somebody famous? Is there a famous person named Beetlejuice? Yeah, somebody with my friend, yeah. For, like in a movie or something? Yeah. That's it. Somebody, yeah. Yeah. He knows, Secret, uh, he knows about it. Well, oh, Vinny's funny, too, because <laughs> when we were at the bachelor party with Beetlejuice, <laughs> yeah. Beetlejuice was running around naked, and Vinny tries to act like he's better than Beetlejuice, <laughs> but Vinny was taking a rolled-up dollar bill and trying to put it up Doug. What? In a weird <laughs> yeah. place. Oh. He said he was putting it up his Doug ass. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you should see Vinny doing you that. You remember that, don't you, Beetlejuice? <laughs> I remember he had a roller tested off his ass. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Robitussin, what? <laughs> Robitussin. All right, anyway, so my like Q rating. Are... Let's get back to Q rating, Beetlejuice. Yeah, please. All right. Okay, so so you Vinny, want some other names? Yeah, uh, so who uh, else do I beat in Q? It's, and it's amazing. Yeah. More people know you than Dick Clark. Really? Wow. Yeah, really? I know, I know. That's shocking. That's amazing. Well, I got another. You think I could parlay that into something? Well, wait a minute. We haven't got to the. Yeah. I got to tell you something. When I walk around the streets, so people always, hey, Howard, how are you doing? I don't see anybody not liking me. Well, they don't tell you to your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably they scared to. Polite. They're probably yeah. afraid because they know I kicked their ass. You know it. That's, That's right. how it is. That's or that you'll get Beetlejuice to kick their I'll ass. get Beetlejuice to kick their ass for me. Right? You would do that for me. Me? Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Never know. I gotta tell you, you're a great co-host. You got his back, right? <laughs> you're better than Jackie. Hey, you're I got comfortable. Uh, yeah, sure, I got his back. You're it don't better. Make a difference. Right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Vinny. Yes. I, so I have a. So far, you're telling me I have a 76. Yeah, you. You and still. I still haven't told you your actual Q rating, which is the average of everything put together. Yeah. But I think who else is known? Is known? Uh, does Howard? Uh, Okay, you ready? Beat in yeah. this category. You, you beat uh, Bob Saget, which I guess is not... That's, that's pretty not cool. Well, wait, well, Bob Saget's well-known. Yeah. He, he had, had his, two shows. Yeah, two TV shows. Go ahead. You beat Conan O'Brien. Yeah, had three TV shows. I saw it. Conan O'Brien I beat? Yep. Uh, Dr. Laura. Right. Here's a real surprising one. Martha Stewart. I wow. beat her. What is hers? She's what number beautiful. does she have? Hold on. Let me look it up. Hold on one sec. Yeah, look up look Martha Stewart. Look at how Stewart. much money she's making. Yeah, and she's on TV commercials and everything. She's got a magazine. So who's higher than me? I hope there's a lot of people. Hold on. Yeah. The 76 sounds impressive. Very. Hmm. Yeah, I'm saving the good stuff. All right. Uh, I'm surprised you know, more people know you than Katie Couric. Wow. And wow. You wow. mean people, they went up to people and said, do you know who Katie Couric is and do you know Howard Stern is? And I beat Katie Couric. Exactly. Wow. It's incredible, right? I feel important. Wow. My what brand is name is very strong. Uh, well, let's Larry, see. Larry King. More people <laughs> uh, know you than Well, Larry that's King. understandable. Wow. I hope so. <laughs> Chris Rock. More no. people know me than Chris Rock. You're wow. kidding. Wow. What did Chris Rock get? Uh, hold on. You guys are going too fast for me. Yeah, so oh. Vinny, Vinny's good. This is notes. like charts and graphs. Come on. This yeah. no, Vinny's good at it. We could never read these on our own. That's why you need an executive in here. Exactly. That's right. why he got the uh, title, huh? He must have got the title. That's why. That's right. He can read a graph. Boy, Beetlejuice is, it, he's sprayed in green paint. It's with sparkles. Nice. Is there a tan line or something? It looks it looks yeah. painful. I, cou I could hardly tell it was green until the light got on. Did he spray your wiener? Huh? Did nah. He no. You is wouldn't let him. spray paint? Nah. That's or spray paint. It's all spray paint. Yeah. Oh, he didn't use a brush. Nah. nah. And you got a green hat and green hair. Yeah. Yeah. Is that paint is for humans or is that... I don't know what they spray painted him with. Oh, no. You got you got to be careful with that. Really? I think in Goldfinger the girl died from yes. it. Yes. But you feel fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, you feel good. Uh, okay, Vinny. So, so Chris Ro Chris Rock was like a 61 hmm. on the familiarity. See that? Well, he made a show though. Yeah. Who else? Okay, Carson Daly. More people know you than Carson Daly. I understand. I hope so. <laughs> Barbara Walters. We did that, right? Uh, Barbara, Barbara Walters, Walters. What? More people know you than Barbara Walters. Wow. 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 Um, I'm impressed. That's still, amazing. I still haven't told you. The She's been on TV forever. Yep. Mm. Every day. You're, um, hey, Ron, no wonder you wanted to have dinner with me. Ah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Beats a squirrel. Right. <laughs> what else? 
All right, the average in your category, the average Q, the average familiarity in your category was like 39. Wow. So well and you're a 76. Wow. Okay. The average... By the way, I just want to mention we're lucky to have Vinny here today because he called Gary. Gary called him uh-huh. and said... Uh, no, I actually, um, Casey called me last Friday just to tell me, I need you in next Wednesday at 6 in the morning. And I'm like, well, what do we do? And he goes, I don't know, just be there. And I'm like, to myself, that's a big deal. I got to leave two days earlier to get here at 6 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, right. So I figure, all right, a couple of days will pass. I'm sure someone's going to call me to produce this segment that I'm a part of. I had a vague idea, but I wasn't sure. Right. So then I called Gary... And uh, I'm on hold for, you know, about 10 minutes. And Gary says, hold on one second. You know, I, I know he's busy. I mean, it was in late afternoon. He was probably trying to get out. 10 minutes, I'm, I'm on hold. And, and I have it on the speakerphone. I'm hearing this really bad. I don't even, Is it K-Rock that you guys play on hold? or? Uh, I would imagine so. I mean, if we put another radio station on hold, I think it's a big mistake. I don't think it's a radio station. It's, it's just oh. really bad music. Oh. So I'm waiting there. And it, this is ridiculous. So I hang up and I call right back. And I'm like, hey, you know, I just wanted to remind Gary I'm on hold. <laughs> the intern said, oh, he left a few minutes ago. <laughs> Oh. He left <laughs> while you were still on hold? Yeah. I'm, sh- I'm sure oh he was goodness. busy and, you know. <laughs> Somebody just slipped me a note and said it's a tape that we play on hold. Okay. Why do we play think, a tape on hold? I think Crazy Cabby picked the music for it. Yeah, why, do, why do we do that, though? Why not I play the radio station? I don't think we can station? pick up the radio station. We can't pick it up? What is it, John? You have the answer to this? Yeah, do you remember that they, uh, they play a tape because they have to s- select the song so there's no curse words and everything. On the phone? Yeah, so. Hi, <laughs> vai. Like, you know, if you call. Every radio station has their own radio station on hold. Like, you know, we, you'll never hear this show on hold. <laughs> but you guys oh, that's what it's about, keeping my show off well, the hold. But I wasn't calling during the show. No, the then it's then even the music, they won't play K, right? It has to be the, there's a tape. They, you they guys don't curse <laughs> on the air. No. So why couldn't they just play an air check? I'd say I'd be, be proud to have this show on. Yeah, I know. It's really bad. It's like a weird kind of format. I don't even think it exists. See, this is like my Q rating. Everybody knows me, but nobody wants to, you know, <laughs> nobody wants to admit they like me. All right, so let's get to the bad part of the Q rating because I've just been stalling. Let's right. let's get to the real, you know, humiliating part. All right. So, do you want to know the, the, you know, the people that you're in sync with as far as um, the likability? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Who's as likable as you? Yeah. Or as dislike- just give me the numbers, Vinny. Any way you want to do it. All right. Don't you sugarcoat it. Okay, you and Kathy Lee actually are kind of very similar in <laughs> that you have the s- same amount of recognition and the same amount of dislike. So she's got high recognition and high dislike. Exactly. I bet you more people know her than they know me. Like 40, uh, yeah, a little bit more, but 49% of the people that know you, Howard, yeah. don't like you. Oh, that's I, not I, that's true. A, that doesn't sound bad. That's not true. What do you say? 49% of the people, a lot of them never even heard the show. Well, you're justifying it. So you're saying half the people like me and half the people hate me. Right. I could live with that. 42% is Kathy Lee. I don't think that's true, though. That's, what's Does that? anybody else have a high ratio like that besides Hitler? <laughs> 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 I was looking for him. He wasn't on the list. Yeah. You know what's weird? It's like, okay, DJ Scribble has D- a higher Q rating than you. Stop it. Who is DJ Scribble? Remember that guy who used to spin records on the Cindy Margolis show? What's his Q rating? Okay. His uh, Q rating is 22. Now, what is mine? 11. Oh! Your final number is 11. <laughs> You're saying... You no, 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 wait. No, you wait. have to take into account that more people know who you are. Yeah. Fewer people that's know him, but the w- people that do actually that like him. That is incredibly depressing. You know what? That wait. completely, to me, nullifies this entire study. Right. Yeah. There's no way that DJ, DJ Scribble... Scribble. <laughs> yeah, but you don't understand. Q rating is based on people liking but you. I'm telling you, there's yeah. no way DJ Scribble could beat you under any circumstances. Yeah. People yeah. don't like to admit they like me. The one Howard. person who knows DJ Scribble must like him. Right. right. Uh, you go in the street and ask 100 people who DJ Scribble is. You get no Five. I know. Three. And if you go to 100 people and say, who's Howard Stern, they know it, and then they go, well, do you like them? And they go, oh, I don't like them. But a lot of them aren't fans. Look, I'm telling you, nobody knows DJ nobody Scribble. Nobody knows much him. Much less whether they like him or not. So how is he? So DJ Scribble has a what, a 22? 22 percent. And I have an 11. Right. H- Howard, if you went on the street, I'll bet you more people know Beetlejuice. I'll bet you two times. But it's not about if they know you. It's about no, if no, they no, like no. you. It's like But like. I'm still saying nobody even knows if they like DJ Scribble. Yeah, how, you'd have to know him to like him. Who else beats me on the Q rating? Okay, hold on. So you guys aren't understanding that so many people... No, I understand I do. it perfectly, this and I'm telling hold on. Program program so many so people hate me that it brings my Q rating way yeah. down. Well, me, here's a question. 49% hate you. Here's a question. You, you interview 100 people. Right. Two people know DJ Scribble, and they like him. 100 people know Howard Stern, but 49 hate him. Whose Q rating is higher? And I'm DJ telling Scribble. You, but that's, that's, that, me, that makes no sense. The right. people who are saying they like DJ Scribble, they don't know him. 
No, they, they really have no awareness of no, them at all. No, that's not true. And that way they can say, You yeah, didn't do the like survey. Them. You don't know that's, that. That's a lie. You don't know that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Vinny. Howard, here's an interesting one. Whites dislike you more than blacks. That's the blacks, true. I agree. That's black that's people love me. Black yep. people love you. I'll give you these beetle juice. You love me, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. And he yeah. speaks for all blacks. And his I speak for all blacks. He does today. <laughs> and Howard, yeah, go ahead. Hispanics dislike you more than anyone. Ooh. That's because of Selena. They think I dissed her. Yeah. That's why they don't like me. And meanwhile, I got a total railroad on that. I bet you're not very popular in Denver either. Demographic. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm not going to be doing a Goya beans. Uh. Yeah, the yeah. Spanish uh, advertisers aren't looking for you. Man. Yeah, I remember after that whole Selena thing, I have like, we had some people working at the house who were Mexican, and they were giving, you know, they were looking at me. And I went, hey, let me explain to you right now. <laughs> let me Here's what I out. said. <laughs> I said I don't like Tejano music or whatever that is. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's Fred's fault. All right, go on. Peter Juice, well. do you know which person in this studio is Howard Stern? Yeah, you. Right. Do right. you know DJ do you know the names? Scribble? Do you know DJ Scribble? Yeah, I know DJ Scribble. Uh, who is, is he? you like him? He's Who? a DJ. Yeah, right. You Where? Like Where would you have He's seen him? He's from Brooklyn. Yeah. See, he knows. He, knows. I, he is not from Brooklyn, is he? Yeah. Yeah. And do you like him? Hold on. Yeah, he's what, a good guy. What, what, <laughs> show, what show is DJ Scribble on? He's in uh, DJ about, Booth. It's not he's about, in the DJ it's Booth. He, the he's right. But, but the guy's right. It's not about the show either. It's about the person. You don't even That's know right. Well, it's about the person, but it's the same thing. Okay. Instead, the guy, is, he's playing it, though. Okay, yeah. You know? See, I told you DJ Scribble's got a higher you know, Q rating than me. See, we're right in this. He's in a booth in Brooklyn. Hold on one second, our Juice. Yeah. Juice, look at me. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Beetlejuice. Oh, look yeah. at me. Juice. you call him by his last name. Sorry, Mr. Juice. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you say he's your favorite? Would you say he's very good? Would he's you a good guy, yeah. He's, he's good? good. Yeah, yeah he's good. a good guy. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. All right, so who? So, so give me some other numbers. Okay, you want, okay so... The, hey, the, Beetlejuice, do you know the names of the people in this studio? Do you know any of them? Like no, what's, no, what's her name? I know, I know like a couple. All right, what's his name? Because I see you every day. Yeah, I see you every day, too. What's my name? Who is that? Barbara Bowie. <laughs> Barbara Bowie, Bowie, that's Bobby right. Bobby that's acceptable. And what's her name? This one. This girl over here in the booth. Hello. The girl. Oh. I don't even know where I am. Oh, yeah, I know who you are. Look You're right me. there. Yeah, what's her name? I don't remember that shit. You don't oh. remember? Why is it fucked out right now? No, no, no. no, no. Hey, Beatles. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, don't curse, Do you remember, don't you remember her name? Uh, don't curse, though. No, nah, I didn't curse. So you don't remember her name? Nah, I don't remember. Uh, Robin. Could be. Yeah, Rob. Could be. Yeah. He's not even sure. You could be. You knew Bob and Bowie. I'm just doing a Q rating right here. Q what? <laughs> that proves that if you call Beetlejuice, I have a higher Q rating than Robert. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That makes no yeah. sense. What do you mean it makes no sense? That's the guy's Q rating. I'm not Q rating. Hey, this guy. What's this guy's name right here? The other oh, guy. Him? The white guy. Oh, I don't know. I got to see about that. Howard, right? Your yeah, name Howard. How come you were over here then? He always calls me Howard Stern. <laughs> he does? I, yeah. I didn't call you no Howard Stern. I didn't say that. You, every, uh, you, you have in the past, Beetle. What in the past? I don't know. What are you talking about? All right, so who man? am I? What? Who am I? Who are you? Who are you? Know? What? <laughs> who are you? Who is you? He's a joke, man. See, so you have no cure ready. <laughs> that's right. That's he is a Beetle, joke. that's stuttering John. <laughs> I know. It was a joke. Right. <laughs> Beetle, just do you like me? Yeah, you're a good friend. See, huh? so you and I are b both the same. Yeah, We're both see? recognizable in life. Yeah, DJ Scribbles on the phone. DJ. Yes, Howard. How you doing? Good. I want to apologize about all this. Why? Well, I mean, uh, what they're saying, I'm more popular than you and I with this uh, rating. I mean, that's ridiculous. All right. Well, your apology. This ain't DJ Scribble. I wouldn't even know who that guy is, yeah. DJ Scribble. You should be that's music in the background if he's on. Right. Yeah, yeah, where's your I'm music? I'm down here in uh, Sheep's Head Bay, and I'm listening to the radio, and all of a sudden, <laughs> everything's about me. Where's your music? <laughs> What's going on? All right, get out of here. All right, so <laughs> give me some more Q rating stuff. Okay, this is how. Yeah. So, hey, Benny, when they do a Q rating, is it like how many people is it that they interview? I don't know what the sampling, but it represents the country. Yeah, I and mean, they sample like, the. So it's like different country. states. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It really? could be. It could be some state that we don't even have the radio it show. Could be Iowa. It could be. Which is amazing that uh, that many people know Howard too, given that the radio show is not. All right. So, right. so, but meanwhile, my Q rating is an eleven. That's you, the bottom line on all this. Wait a minute. Go on. Who else yeah. right. uh, do you have there? Before I, I get you understand what the Q rating is used for, when advertisers want to hire a spokesperson. Person. They try to get someone with a high Q rating because people like them. That's right, and they already have that 
barrier broken. Yeah. It's also even a matter of now you know why you're not seeing me on TV commercials. So, so it could be David Hasselhoff could be recognized by a lot of people and liked, and you could be recognized by more people but not liked at all. But all I know is I got something like 20 million listeners. You're telling me if I did a TV commercial, 20 million people, you wouldn't want to reach them? Those those people obviously must like me if they listen to me. Howard, does it matter to an advertiser? But that's the thing with you. A lot of people who listen say they don't like you. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Does it matter to an advertiser if they like you or not? Yeah, I think it would. It does. Yeah, because for some reason, because yeah. Because they don't want to have they don't want to have to fight his like ability to sell their product. Right. So you're a unique that. you're a unique person now because you mm. bring your own audience to the table. A lot of people don't. Like you have a specific amount of people, like you said, that will listen to you and like what you say. Yeah. All right. So, so go ahead. Give me some more. Here's an interesting one. All right. Um, of the and you the people that that dislike you the most that know who you are are females between 35 and 49. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why I only date 20-year-olds. <laughs> you'd be smart, Well, you know why? Because that's the age most guys dump their wives at. That's right. You'd no, 35 to 49-year-old females don't have a sense of humor. Right. What, they lose it? They, oh. <laughs> if they ever had it, they lose it. Well, it's time we all got serious. Where did they lose it? <laughs> hey, uh, Young girls like to have fun. You know why? Because their skin isn't all wrinkled. Oh what is it? Goodness. Lady, who's, who's higher than the Q rate? I mean, uh, Howard or, or David Letterman? Uh, uh, Letterman's higher. Yeah, but Letterman's right. liked, really? man. No, I'm, I'm shocked. Well, wait a second. But Compare Jay Leno's is higher well, than Le Jay. No, Letterman. no, no. Letterman's, they're practically a tie. Letterman's really? a little bit higher than Jay. Really? Yeah. But let me ask you this. Go ahead. I bet you more people, well, I don't know about that, but but dude, how many people know my name okay. compared to Letterman? I'll compare you right now. I think so Letterman's got to be higher than I me. Think he's yeah. in the 80s. Hold on. Yeah, he's got to be. Come on. He's got, he's got a network television show. Yeah, yeah but it's so on so Barbara late. Walters. Yeah, but Letterman's at 81 percent, so more people know him. And he's on the whole country. I'm at 76 percent. I'm not even in a third of the country. Barbara yeah, I mean, Walters is on all day. How could people not know her? I mean, Letterman hosted the Oscars. J people would know him from that alone. Right. Yeah, this thing probably changes from year to year. Rob, and I was surprised that you weren't on here. I'm sure when your book was out, um, you, you think you I made it on the, the movie. Uh, list. And huh? when the movie was out, too, yeah. Well, she's the same as Howard Stern. It's just a generic name. Right. <laughs> Beetlejuice, do you know who David Letterman is? So I'm loved and hated. Yeah, loved, you have an 11 is also. Like a portal. What is that, Beetlejuice? You work for Portos. Wait, 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 who's David Letterman? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> See, you don't know David Letterman, right? <laughs> who's Jay Leno? No, I don't know. Who's Jay Leno? I don't know. Who you? You don't even know. Who do you know? <laughs> I don't know nobody. <laughs> Jesse Jesse Jesse. Jesse. Here's, better, better, Bowie. here's a better question. Beetlejuice, who's your favorite movie star? He doesn't Which know. One? Anyone. Anyone, anyone you love. Anyone I love that answer. Favorite oh, movie star. A couple. Like who? Anybody. Like, who's name one. Who, who's Beetlejuice? Whose movie would you watch over and over again? Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, Beetlejuice. and who's Hold in on. that movie? He likes the, the Beetlejuice movie. No, no. Who is in the movie Beetlejuice? Well, Kissy Kurtz and all of them. Swoozy Kurtz? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> that he gets. He knows Swoozy Kurtz. What's your favorite TV show? She must have a high cure Program. What, what's your favorite TV show that you never miss? <laughs> I never miss nothing at all. But would you, there's one show that you must watch that you love more than any other one. Well, which one? You watch <laughs> <laughs> the Oscars? <laughs> Did they interview he him? He just told you, the Oscars. And who's on that? Uh, Oscar Madison and then two other persons. Yeah, oh, Felix. he's talking about the uh, odd, odd couple, couple you love. You love the odd couple. Yeah. Right. You know who Puff Daddy is? Well, Puff Daddy is in like a different style. Yeah. What style is that? Well, that's just like in Brooklyn somewhere. Yeah. You know George Bush? Well, George Bush is like in California, so. So he has a very, he, he didn't have a, I have a highest Q rating with him. They should have used him yep. for yeah. Q rating. I, <laughs> you know, you know, I bet he could even tell you his father's first name. Yes, he could. He didn't get his own name until the fourth guess. <laughs> <laughs> What's your father's name? My father's dead, man. I could tell you who you're oh, sorry. Oh, I'm hey, you goofing on his father? No, I just want to know. I'm curious if he knows his name. You should talk about a guy's father. You don't like talk that. about a man's father, right, uh, Peter Juice? You know, I don't let nobody talk about my father. See, I, wouldn't. See, I wasn't saying anything bad, Beetle. Don't do it. Beetle. Were you saying something bad? No. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything bad. You trying to say goof on that? No, man? I was wondering if he knew his father's name, that's all. Just Kick father. your ass. Just father, man. That's right, man. Right, Peter Juice? Father's name my, my dead. father's dead, man. Yeah, man. All right. I have to bring that up. Uh, what about don't your mother? Don't bring that up. Yeah, don't bring, let's talk don't about mother's first name. Don't be talking about a guy's mother like that. Don't talk about a guy's mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> what is with this guy? <laughs> Who talking? is he anyway? Peter Juice, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> What's my name? I don't care what your name is. Yeah, exactly. You don't like him. Why would you want to know his name? Talk about your mother, father, Jeez, like what's that. What's my name? <laughs> yeah. Look yeah, at and that. I don't like him at all. Your right. Q rating is negative, John. He doesn't like you. Yeah, and he doesn't just, know you. You don't like him, right? I don't like nobody. Oh. oh, hey, me, you like. I like you. Right. 
Oh, she's your good friend. That's right. That's do you like Jewish that people? That guy over there. Do I? I hate Jewish people. You do, right? <laughs> that he knows. What? How come? <laughs> what do they do? It smells. <laughs> really? What Jewish people? Everyone's do you an anti Semite. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. That's some kind of smell. What kind of Jew what Jewish people do you even know? I don't think you know any. I don't like them. But do you, you know, know any? Jewish? Half Jewish I, people. I Jewish. hate Jewish people. I hate it. You do. Oh, do you like black people? Black people is a different thing, bro. But it's a different thing. You like the black people. It's all black people. You like black people. I like black people, but I don't like it too much. Right. Not too much. You don't like, even like better than Jews. <laughs> Who do you like better, Jews or blacks? I hate Jews. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and what about blacks? Blacks? I don't know. You don't even know how you feel about What about, about Hispanic people? I don't, I don't people. feel about nothing. Huh? What about the Hispanics? Me? Nah, I don't understand that shit. <laughs> Howard, you know what's funny? It's a guy who barely knows his name and can't spell red, but one thing he knows whenever you ask him that he hates Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody must have taught you that, right? No, uh, I, I went to school. And I, I learned this shit from school. Oh, um, no, don't say the S word, though. Don't say the S word. Do you like the Chinese? School. You know, school uh, is a bad thing. Right. <laughs> Do you like the Chinese? What? Chinese? Chinese? Get on that microphone. I don't want to miss yeah, it. Yeah, maybe Chinese. You Chinese. like the Chinese? Chinese are all right. <laughs> yeah, Chinese good. Better That's Chinese food is good. Yeah. yeah. What do you get when you go to a Chinese restaurant? Me? I just eat it and just get. Finish and eat and just pay and get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, listen. Don't you like to have guys deliver Chinese food to your apartment and then you answer the door naked? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You do that That's all the fun, time. That's fun, right? A couple of times. Yeah, I think Beetlejuice's Q rating just went down. <laughs> you know what he does? He does naked sit-ups and he leaves the door ajar. Yeah. And when they knock on the door, he goes, come in, come in. And he's doing naked sit-ups. Really? Oh, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Beetlejuice? Oh, I do that once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, just when you're trying to have some fun. That's all. All right, so get to the get to the Q rating, man. Okay. Do you want to hear it like the people that America loves? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tim Allen. Tell me what well, Tim Allen. Yeah, he, yeah that show there. was really popular. What's his Q rating? His Q rating is a twenty-nine. That's high. That's very high. But mine's an eleven. That ain't that bad. And his and and Bill Cosby was a forty-six. Mm. Almost all of his are um that's they're his favorite. He's their favorite. Uh, oh, wow. So he's how about, rated uh, way high. Uh, yeah, how about Kathy Lee? Hold on. I, I said already. We did. Oh, I'm sorry. So more people know me than let's say Tim Allen, but Tim Allen has well, a higher no, Q rating. Al well, Tim Allen came in pretty high actually. I'm not familiar. He's at ninety two. So oh, wow. 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 Yeah, you can't okay. you can't You're touch that. Right. Jackie Chan. What? Really? Jackie Chan. Jackie American. Chan is very Chan popular? Jackie yes. Chan. Like, Howard, would your mom... More people know you than Jackie Chan, but more people... Like, like Does your mom or dad... You if you called your mom and asked her if, you, if she knew who Jackie Chan was, do you think she'd know it? I don't think my mom knows anybody past, like, uh, Cary Grant. Or Barbara <laughs> Streisand. Or Barbara <laughs> Streisand. <laughs> yeah. Barbara <laughs> Streisand's cue must be uh, through the roof. If you ask my mother who Jackie Chan is, who? <laughs> I don't a, know that. She's Jackie by, Chan? She'd be annoyed by the question. <laughs> <laughs> So what you telling me, uh, tell me people who have, like, like people you would never expect to have a higher Q rating than well, me, but do. I'm surprised that, like, Sean Connery is so high. What does Sean he have? Connery. Sean Connery, yeah, he's up there. He's at, like, 48. Well, Good he does Sean tons Connery. of movies, and why does he ever, you see, he doesn't, you see, here's the difference. Guys who actually give their opinions on the radio are always going to have lower yeah, Q rating. you don't know what Sean Connery thinks of anything. What, what would like, you, what, like, like you take Beetlejuice. Like everybody loves Beetlejuice. Then he says he doesn't like the Jews, and the Jews aren't going to like Beetlejuice. So if anybody who gives their 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 opinions, they're going to go, Sean Connery, all he does is act in movies. In fact, a couple of years ago, Sean Connery made a little slip of the tongue and said a woman needs to be slapped every once in yeah, a while. Yeah, now why don't 35-year-old women not like him? And uh, it was a real problem for him. Yeah, his Q rating went down. Yeah. They probably did. Then All right. Anything down. else you want to tell us about Q rating? Because I got to take a break. Okay. Well, 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 well how about other? How, how about like a Rush Limbaugh? Leno mm. used to have a, a Q rating thing that, that that's very weird. What do you mean? He his his Q rating used to be Leno. Yeah. It was so low that Johnny Carson wouldn't have him as a guest. <laughs> Because the, his Q rating came back. He knows this. Yeah, right. His Q rating came back that said his face scared children. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. And, and Carson stopped having him. That's when Letterman started having him on. And that's what made him a star so that he could end up getting Taking the Tonight Show. Can, can I just say one thing? How many children watch The Tonight Show? <laughs> well, there, there was an expression. Yeah. But the point is that people would just, just didn't even have a likability factor. Zero. Do you yeah. want the uh, top ten list of people un under dislikability that you're with? That yeah. Oh. Am I in the top ten? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's uh, the list. Uh, it may not be in the exact order, okay? Go ahead. Uh, I'll, it'll get worse. Wayne Newton's on the list. Oh. Now, why would you hate Wayne Newton? 
Because there's something up with that guy. <laughs> you just can't figure him out. There's something up with Wayne Newton. I don't know what he does. But I also don't know. I mean, is he? He looks kind of weird. I, I gotta tell you something. A man or a woman? Yeah, yeah he's weird looking. <laughs> that mustache is weird. And you want to know something? I don't like him. You know what he looks like? And, and you know got what? That high voice. You don't like that. The man's done nothing to me. But I think he's up to something. And look, notice whenever they put him in a movie, what does he play? A villain. Or he plays Wayne Newton. Yeah, but that's a villain. He could be an alien from another planet. <laughs> you know what he Juice, you like yeah. Wayne Newton? Nah. No. Even Peter just doesn't like him. He always reminds me of when you watch a movie and a woman dresses up like a man in a suit and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what he looks that's like. Yeah, right. yeah, he's scary. Yeah, go ahead. Who else? Okay, um, Courtney Love and uh, Pam Anderson. People hate them. No. Now, why would people... Pam Anderson? It's got to be all women that hate Pam Anderson, right? Right, yeah, right. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, and even guys hate him because she's so good looking and we can never get her. Them, These yeah. people are on, on your list, Howard. Courtney right. Love, huh? Alice Cooper. <laughs> Alice Cooper. <laughs> they hate Alice Cooper. A lot Cooper. of people know him. A lot of people don't like him. Uh, Jerry Springer, obviously. Uh, oh. uh, this well, one was surprising oh, that they were even mentioned. Uh, Spice Who's a mess? mess? Jerry Springer? Oh, yeah, he's a mess. He's a mess. Even Beetlejuice <laughs> doesn't like Jerry Springer. The Spice Girls are on the list with you. What is, yeah. What's their cure rating? They're, well, their dislikability is like 50. I hate them, and I don't even know why. I don't like them. Right, me too. Actually, you know what? I thought that they Why don't you like them, Ron? I hate them. I, I don't like them a lot. Why not? I, I don't, same as Gary. I have no idea why. I'll tell you I why. I found them to be arrogant. They get yeah. together and they giggle. Yeah. Right. And they're always... They're not real. Yeah. But they're, they're, so like, they're always like I on a girl's night out. They right. can't sing and they're making money in music. And I hate when girls get together and it's I feel like awful. they're goofing on it's me. It's awful. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's like a, they're making millions on a girl's night out. I know why I hate them. I had them on the show and they didn't stop giggling. And, and <laughs> girl power. They didn't stop talking over each other. It was just goddamn annoying. Girl I wanted to power, strangle them. Girl power. Yeah, the one that left used to go, girl power, Howard. Right, girl girls, power. girl power. And I was like, get out. Just a man hater. Just hate get him. out. Marilyn Manson. Oh. Yeah. Well, he he, he polarizes. Goes for it. Yeah. Um, Roseanne. Yeah. Oh. Howard Stern. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, this is the only this is the only one ahead of you. There's two people ahead of you. Uh, Spice Girls. Right. And uh, the number one person, uh, Michael Jackson. You were number three. Wow. <laughs> Michael Jackson's more despised than me. Yeah. That's good. Hey, I'm number three. At least you I'm. Yeah, number hold on. Three. You're dating kids. Too. I'd rather be number one. <laughs> right. If you're gonna. Yeah. Be do anything. it. Do it right. <laughs> you know, you've never been accused of any of the crimes Michael Jackson been accused of yet. You know, so. You're hey, decades. but you're right up there with him, Howard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. All right. Listen. Hey, I beat Hitler. Do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> anyway, uh, Peter Juice, great having you in. Uh, I gotta say, you're terrific as a co-host. Thank you. Uh, sitting in for Jackie. Thank you so much. And you're welcome. We'll get back to you on everything. All right. All right. All right, Peter Juice. And uh, we're going to take a uh, break. and then we'll Happy be St. Patrick's Day. Uh, yeah, Peter Juice, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. All right. You like the Irish, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, then you like. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Peter Juice, how'd you do today? Oh, it was great. Yeah? Yeah. You think like, you got the job? You got Jackie's job? <laughs> no, I'm just doing that for, for life for fun. Yeah? Yeah. Just a snack. <laughs> just a snack? Yes, yeah, funny. All right, cool. You did good, though. You did good today. Thanks. 